Merry Christmas, YouTubers. This is um, the gaming file wishing everybody a Merry Christmas under 24 inches of snow up here in Canada. Um, this time of year is usually a great year for buying vintage games. Everyone's looking for PS4, Xbox One, so they're trying to sell things that they own to purchase those newer systems. Personally, I don't care about them, so that works out for me. Um, I want to show you guys this box right here. Um, it's an Xbox lot. And before you go running, this is a sweet Xbox lot. Normally I don't buy Xbox games or lots at all actually. This is probably my first one ever. Um, I was a fan of the system to begin with, but um, this is this just had so many good games and goodies that I had to pick it up. So first off, this is the Xbox here. And for those of you that don't know, um, in Canada we actually got this limited edition green Xbox. Um, it's very similar to the dev kit um, Xbox and the Halo limited edition. It just doesn't have the Halo insignia on it. But um, this was in limited quantities in Canada, so I, I think it's fairly rare. Um, here's a blue controller that came with it. Uh, the insignia on the blue controller is white that says Xbox. I'm not sure why that's a little different, but it's an official product. So, this was an Xbox lot that was just insane. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you guys this, too. <laughs> uh, this came with it. This is strange. I've never seen anything like this. Um, game track, game system. It's basically... If I can open this up for you... You put this down on the table and then pull these pull these gloves out, put them on, and you swing. The only way to describe it is you swing like it's a golf simulation game. Honestly, I've never even seen it or heard... Oh, there's the kitty. Seen of it or heard of it. It's uh, really strange, but it's... I, I kind of like oddball peripherals and things like that, so that was kind of neat to add to the collection. Um, so over here, the box. Uh, there's a ton of games in here, and honestly, 90% of them are awesome. So I'm gonna just start pulling them out and showing you guys what we have. This is Air Force Delta Storm by Konami. Uh, next up we have Mercenaries, Playground of Destruction. Um, these are from the guys who made uh, the Star Wars Battlefront games, so it's pretty cool. And it's kind of like an open world GTA, but you can destroy all the buildings and stuff, and you have crazy weapons. And So that was a neat game when it came out. Uh, really cool to see this. Um, I didn't own this, and this has been on my list to get. Uh, Dead or Alive Ultimate. It's a two disc game, and I've actually seen both discs in the stores, but it's it's hard to get this sleeve with it. Um, so basically it's a two disc game. Um, and if you can see, there's a Ryu Hayabusa from uh, Ninja Gaiden. Um, he's a playable character in this. And um, it's a great fighting game. I love the exclusives for Xbox. <laughs> uh, next up we have Samurai Showdown 5, uh, Sealed. Now you're going to notice in this lot, there's a lot of good games and a lot of them are sealed, which is strange. I don't know why that is. Um, so Samurai Showdown 5. This is kind of crazy. I, I had no idea how many good fighting games there were for the Xbox. I know the D-pad isn't the greatest for the system, but uh, oh, here's a manual for it. But it's, it's honestly, they had so many good games. It looks like SNK gave it a lot of love. Because next up we have... Uh, the King of Fighters Neo Wave, and you can see up there only on Xbox. It's another SNK title, but this is the. Um... Actually, I haven't played this one. I'm not sure what the Neo Wave is, but there's another Samurai Showdown. Uh, here's Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance. Uh, this is like the um, re-release of the game where you could play as Snake. Uh, like. You know, Metal Gear Solid 2, half the game was, or more than half, was played as Raiden, but this one you can play more as Snake, so that's cool. There's Rainbow Six Lockdown. I don't care much about that game. Oh, there's the uh, <laughs> Real World Golf. 
This actually goes with this uh, golf game over here. Maybe I'll just put it on top. <clears throat> uh, now we have Win Back 2, Project Poseidon, uh, sealed. Win Back was kind of Koei's answer to the Metal Gear series, and um, I haven't played the second one. I played the first one on N64, so you know, I might give that a shot. It sounds pretty cool. Here's House of the Dead 3, awesome game. This was an exclusive for the Xbox like back in the day, and uh, oh, it's just great. It's one of the best. House of the Dead series is just amazing, and this was one of the best ones. Um, I've never seen this before. This is a uh, Fable limited edition bonus DVD. So I guess this came as a pre-order or something. I'm not sure. Uh, there's no game in here. It's just the DVD. But it looks like it's a documentary on how the game was made and stuff, so that's kind of interesting. Oh, this is a badass game. Uh, Dino Crisis 3. Uh, they went crazy with this, though. They, they're in, you're in space. And whenever you get space and the T-Rex dinosaur, I'm going to play no matter what. It looks freaking awesome. I can't wait to try this out. We'll put that over there. Uh, next up, we have Guilty Gear X2. If you guys haven't played the Guilty Gear games, excellent fighting games. Uh, beautiful graphics, beautiful character animation. Um, they, those are really fun games. And uh, next up, we have um, Street Fighter. Or no, sorry, SNK versus Capcom Chaos. Um, and honestly, I haven't played this game either. Um, I've played. I played SNK Capcom number two like a ton with my friends. We we played that game like crazy. But this is I'm pretty sure this is just the original game, but maybe remixed a bit, Chaos, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna have to give that a shot. Uh, next up we have Dynasty Warriors 4. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen the new Dynasty Warriors Meet Zelda um, announcement just came out recently. Here's the Dynasty Warriors 3. Kind of hack and slash, ancient Japan stuff. Here's Jade Empire limited edition. Uh, Jade Empire does not get enough love. Jade Empire is uh, from Bioware, the guys who made uh, Knights of the Old Republic. Um, this is kind of like their, I don't know, quasi sequel to the game. It's um, takes paint uh, takes uh, takes place in Japan, ancient Japan, and it's basically. Uh, you get powers and and Shaolin, I don't know, it's it's really cool. Like, if you guys get a chance, check that game out. Uh, next up we got Shenmue 2. This comes with a DVD. Uh, Shen, what can you say about Shenmue? <laughs> it's like an open world, strange open world game with like uh, real-time weather effects and all these strange things. It was actually really um, ambitious at the time. Apparently one of the most expensive games too. Atagi. If you guys haven't played this by Sega, this is awesome. This is a lot like... Oh, how do you describe this? It's like Ninja Gaiden on crack, maybe? <laughs> the bosses are even bigger and crazier, and you just... You go nuts through these levels, and you can fly, and, and just... It's really cool and stylistic. Like, really, I definitely recommend a must-own for Xbox owners. So you had Atagi, and Atagi 2. Immortal Warriors, so I have not played Atagi 2, so I'm really excited to try this one out. Um, it's a shame that these games don't get enough love, because the Xbox is kind of, you know, not a lot of people love the Xbox, but it's got some great titles. Uh, I'm going to have to speed up here, because we got a ton of games. This is a sealed uh, Midnight Club 2. <laughs> um... We have Reckless, the Yakuza missions. I have not played that, but I heard it was pretty cool. Uh, Sega GT Online. Um, I'm not sure if you can... Oh yeah, you can play this offline. Uh, Sega GTs were always good. Good games. Uh, Crazy Taxi 3 High Roller. Really wanted to play this. This is exclusive to the system, too. I used to love the Crazy Taxi games. So that's really excited to see that. Honestly, I saw a picture of the box and there were just so many good games. I said, I'll have to buy this. Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition. Um, so he was a racing fan and a fighting game fan. <laughs> um, here's ESPN, Madden, who cares about those? I won't even put them up there. Uh, Call of Duty 3, just the disc. 
Uh, here's uh, Outrun 2. Uh, Outrun games are awesome. They had the official uh, Ferrari license, which I think is harder to get. Because <laughs> not a lot of games get the Ferrari license, but Outrun 2, if you guys ever played Outrun, it's like a fr Sega's arcade racer. It's really awesome. Um, and next we had this, which was sweet. This is Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast. This is another strange um, game for the system that was exclusive, and it's sealed. And it's one of the rare games, actually, for the system. So I, I hate getting sealed games because I feel like, <laughs> I feel like when I open them, it's like a small part of me dies inside. I just I can't. Obviously, I hate sealed games because I want to play them, but. You know, I, I hate getting them too if it's a rare game because you're like, should I open it? Or, anyways. <laughs> Next up, we have Jet Set Radio Future. This is a wicked, wicked game. If you guys haven't played this on Dreamcast, this is an updated version of that game. Uh, they made the tagging a lot easier and stuff. Uh, it's got a cool holographic cover too. And uh, super stylistic graffiti kind of meets rollerblading future. I don't know, it's strange, but really cool game. Highly recommended. Uh, next up, we have Metal Metal Slug 4 and Metal Slug 5 sealed. Um, like I was saying before, the uh, the Xbox got a lot of love from SNK, so they had a lot of games that were coming out for the system. Um, next up, we have okay, we have DDR, DDR Revolution 2. Uh, here's DDR Revolution 3. Uh, there was no mat, but I'm not, you know, I'm not crying. DDR Revolution. So the three DDRs. <laughs> the random room right here. Okay, next up, we have Silent Scope Complete. Another awesome game. All the Silent Scope games. Um, I don't have a light gun for Xbox, but now I am on a mission to get one because there's too many good games here I need to play. Actually, we're going to get this Xbox down here. Actually, we might have to take this Xbox out of the way. You guys have seen it. That's pretty neat, though. <laughs> the limited edition Xbox. I've never really seen them for, for a good price, so that was awesome. Okay, let's keep going here. Um, Knights of the Old Republic. If you guys have not played this game, do yourself a favor. Get out there and play it. It's... One of the best Star Wars games of all time. And I don't say that lightly, it is. Um, I mean, that could be just my opinion, but I think it is for sure. It's just such a good game. Here's uh, Matrix Path of Neo. I haven't played that game. Speaking of games that probably aren't as good. Uh, Metal Slug 3. Oh man, love the Metal Slug games. Put this down here. Next up we have Capcom Classics Collection. I just picked up Classics Collection 2 for the Xbox and it's so awesome to have both of these. Uh, they really went crazy with these collections because this was before DLC. So I don't know if you guys can see that or if there's too much glare. Um, you have Street Fighter 2, Mercs, Commando, Gunsmoke, Sun Sun, uh, Section Z, Ghouls and Ghosts, Legendary Wings, Ghosts and Goblins, all these games. Uh, 22 games, so this was before DLC when they tried to, you know, they tried to charge you per game. Like, those are great collections to own. If you can get them, to pick them up for sure. Okay, this, I was like, what the heck is this? Spike Out Battle Street by Sega. This actually looks awesome. Like, I looked at the back, it's a brawler, a four-player brawler, 3D by Sega. So I'm thinking Streets of Rage on crack. This must be awesome. I've never heard of that game, so really excited to play that game. <laughs> Uh, Gun Valkyrie, amazing, amazing, oh man, what can I say about this? Uh, Sega, it's, it's a really, really hard game. Once you understand how to play the mechanics and the controls, you feel like a champ when you start destroying people. You, you kind of fly around with a jetpack and, oh, it's, man, the, the, the Xbox had some amazing games. It doesn't get enough love. Here's a Phantom Crash. I don't know what that is. It looks like a mech mech game. Here's a Phantom Dust. Um, I don't know what this game is, but it looks like it's a card, kind of like a card battling game. 
I don't know. It's an exclusive, so that's cool. Uh, next up, we have Star Wars Jedi Starfighter. I'm gonna put the. I'm gonna move this out of the way now too. No one cares about the golfing. <laughs> so, Jedi Starfighter. Okay, the Xbox had amazing Star Wars games. Just amazing. Next up, we have Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. Uh, probably not as good as the first one, in my opinion, but still a great, great game. Um, just how you can choose your path and become dark or light. It's just, it's just great. Uh, next up, we have Star Wars Jedi Outcast, Jedi Knight 2. Awesome game. Put that up here. And then we have Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. So the two uh, Jedi Outcast games, so that's awesome. Or Jedi Knight, sorry. Here we go, Star Wars Battlefront 2. This is one of the rarest games on the system and one of the best. Um, just, you guys have to play this. Open world, you can fly all the ships, you can play as the Jedi, you can just go crazy. Even if you're not playing online, the single player is, pretty, is great in this one. So that's great to see that one. And we have the Star Wars Battlefront, the first one. So this is turning out to be a wicked... I wouldn't buy this unless the games were awesome. Okay, this was really cool to see. <laughs> this is a Japanese import. And I've never... I know the Xbox didn't do very well in Japan, so this is pretty sweet. It's a Street Fighter Anniversary Collection. So this comes with... Um, Street Fighter 2 um, and Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, which is one of the best Street Fighters in my opinion. Um, so this is really neat. I'm not sure if the Xbox is region free though. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try try and test that out. Uh, another game we have, King of Fighters, uh, Maniacs. This is the 3D one. So they kind of went 3D in Tekken with it. Uh, looks pretty cool. I gotta give that a shot. King of Fighters doesn't get enough love. Um, here, this is strange. <laughs> Two copies of Capcom vs. SNK 2 EO for the Xbox. Um, this is, in my opinion, one of the best fighting games ever made. If you guys can um, tell me what you think is the best fighting game ever made. <laughs> This one is just, there are so many characters, so many amazing characters. You could pick all the types of fighting styles so it fit everyone who played it and it was just, oh man, such an awesome game. They had uh, all the characters. So here there's uh, Hitman 2 and Tiger Woods disc only, that's great. So guys, this is, sorry for the long video, but this, look a quick pan over all these games. Xbox deserves some love and this is like someone had an amazing collection here some of the best titles for the system some of them sealed too by the way I don't know why um, check out all these amazing games and I'm not done yet <laughs> you have to see the guy shows up at my house he says oh I had these controllers um, he's like if you want them you can have them I, they were just lying around I never opened them so check this out Street Fighter, these are the Street Fighter 15th Anniversary uh, Limited Edition Controllers. It comes with a Certificate of Authenticity. It has a holographic, I don't know if you guys can see that, are you seeing me more than that? But you can see the, uh, I guess the lenticular, I guess they call it, but uh, these controllers, like they were built for the fighting games. And this is friggin' awesome. This is a PlayStation 2 one. He just gave me these on top. I, I couldn't believe it. Then he gave me this one, Akuma. Let you guys check out the cover art, it's just amazing. Let me open this. The Akuma one is just awesome. 15th anniversary. And next we finally have M. Bison. So this is a Street Fighter 15th anniversary. This is the Xbox one. So this is actually great. I was so excited to see this. I don't know if you guys can see. 
can see I'm wearing PJs now. It's Christmas. This is awesome. Now I can have a real controller to play all these great Xbox games with. Anyways guys, sorry for the long video, but this was just, I had to put it up here. If you guys are wondering, these games were, it came out to basically a dollar a piece. <laughs> Which is like, I know the Xbox games aren't worth very much, but this was just an awesome friggin' set. And the, I got these for free on top of it, so that's sweet. Guys, thanks so much for sticking with it. We're under a pile of snow here up in Canada. I want to wish you guys all a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and I can't wait to talk to you and see you guys soon. Cheers for now.